Welcome to Ethan's Storytime Online, brought to you by Ethan and Choco's Book Club at Chalk Children's Hospital. My name is Emily, I'm 10 years old, and I live in Tustin, California. The book I'm reading to you today is Oh Say Can You Say, written and illustrated by Dr. Seuss. Said a book reading parrot named Tui, the words in this book are all fooey. When you say them, your lips will make slips and backflips, and your tongue may end up in St. Louis. Do you like fresh fish? It's just fine at Finney's Diner. Finney also has f some fresher fish that's fresher and much finer. But his best fish is his freshest fish. And Finney says with pride, the finest fish at Finney's is my freshest fr fish, French fried. So don't order the fresh or the fresher fish. At Finney's, if you're wise, you'll say, fetch me the finest French fried, freshest fish that Finney fries. We have a dinosaur named Din. Din is thin. Din doesn't have much skin. And the bones fall out of his left front shin. Then we have to call in Pinner Blin, who comes with his handy shin pin bin. And with the thin Blin shin pone bin, pin, Blin pins shin, Din's shin bones right back in. Spreaders and bread spreaders are very different. Bed spreaders spread spreads on beds. Bread spreaders spread butters on breads. And that bed spreader better watch out how he's spreading, or that bread spreader's sure going to butter his bedding. As he gobbled the cakes on his plate, the greedy ape said as he ate, the greener green grapes are, the keener keen apes are, to gobble green grape cakes. They're great. Are you having trouble in saying this stuff? It's really quite easy for me. I just look in my mirror and see what I say, and then I just see, say what I see. Now let's talk about money. You should leave your Grox home when you travel by air. If you take him along, they charge double the fare. And your Grox must be packed and locked up in a Grox box, which costs much, much more than a little old fox box. So it heaps a lot cheaper to fly with your foxes than waste all that money on boxes for groxes. And what do you think costs more, a simple thimble or a single shingle? A simple thimble could cost less than a single shingle would, I guess. So I think that the single shingle should cost more than the simple sh thimble would. Eat it, Skipper Zips. If you like to eat potato chips and chew pork chops on clipper chips, I suggest that you chew a few chips and a chop at Skipper Zip's Clipper Ship Chip Chop Shop. The Fud Nuddlers. There are so many things that you really should know, and that's why I'm bothering telling you so. 
you should know the first names of the Fudnuller brothers, who like to pile on the heads of the others. If you start at the top, there are Bibber and Bud, and Skipper and Jibber, and Jeffrey and Judd, Horatio, Horace, Hendrix, and Hud. Then come Din Moody and Dinty and Dud, and also Fitzsimmon and Frederick and Fudd, and Slinky and Stinky and Start and Stud. And down at the bottom is poor little Lud, but if Lud ever sneezes, his name will be Mud. Quack, quack. We have two ducks, one blue, one black. And when our blue duck goes quack, quack, our black duck quickly quack, quacks back. The quacks, blue quacks, make her quite a quacker, but black is a quicker quacker backer. And speaking of quacks reminds me of cracks and stacks and sacks and snacks and sacks and shack and shacks. So, oh say, can you say, I have cracks in my shack, I have smoke in my stack, and I think there's a snack in the sack on my back. Thank you for joining me on Ethan's Story Online. Have a great day and keep reading. My favorite part about the book is... The Skipper Zips Clipper Ship Tongue Twister. I like it because it's really hard to say, and so that gives me a challenge.